Rare portraits exposing the private lives of couples in colonial Australia have gone on show at the National Portrait Gallery. The show, simply called Husbands and Wives, looks at representation of marriage, sex and society in the 19th century. Victorian portraiture is often associated with stiff upper lips and starched cravats, but these portraits were the epitome of intimacy for the people who carried and cherished them. I have just been to my dressing table to take a peep at you. I wish, my darling, beautiful as your picture is, that I had something still more dear to kiss. The words of 20-year-old Mary Bolton in a lovesick letter to her intended William Windia. His descendants donated a photo taken before he became a preeminent Sydney judge and attorney general. He also was judge in divorce and in there he tended to champion the women. He controversially introduced a law that allowed women to retain their property after marriage. This in a time when marriage was as much about property, position and progeny as love. A portrait could capture all these things, but as photography displaced painted portraits, a more intimate view of Victorian life was exposed. Because they were such precious things and because of the way that they're presented, it gives you a sense of the value and the importance of marriage relationships and, and family relationships within the kind of ideology of the time. Photography democratised portraiture, which was traditionally the reserve of the high and mighty. There were sort of two sides to, to portraiture at this time. There was the big sort of pompous public portraits that were made to sort of make a public statement. And there were the sort of portraits that you had made because you really cherished the people that were represented in those portraits. Between the velvet linings and the leather cases, you can sense the longing, sometimes love, sometimes loss, that marked these lives. Siobhan Heenew, ABC News, Canberra.